Raider fan because the Bears game went off at 12, and every every Sunday they had a Raider game on NBC, so they thought I led in Oakland. But uh, the Cubs versus the Jeters. Um, well, I got to ride with my team. I'm going with the Cubs, too. I don't think the Jeters ready, but shout out again, again, once again, like we did at the top of the show. Shout out to Derek Jeter. Everybody doubted him. Everybody called him crazy. Everybody said he didn't know what the hell he was doing. And guess who know what he's doing now? Derek G. And we got the Braves against... <laughs> I was, hey, was going to say what old boy said. They got them fired in between innings. But... <laughs> I'm going with the Reds. I'm going to go with the Reds, too. I ain't gonna. I, I want. I want to repeat what he said, but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I don't like now. Come on, man. You gotta pick one team if you want to participate in it. See, Rocky, you know you're a baseball fan. Your black ass don't hit. Call six zero five three one three four three seven nine. Access code nine two zero five four seven. I say it slower this time. Say the chat room six zero five three one three four three seven nine. It's the number two. You are listening to the End of the Bench podcast hosted by your man H. Rap and my man Big Illinois. Call in if you want to talk. Yeah, I'm going with the Reds because that's their pitching staff, man. The Reds, man, they bats is too shaky, though. Know, but I'm going to rock with them because it's the playoffs. And all, like you said, you only need two good days. Now, second round, that's your ass. Yeah, that's any other season, most of these teams would not be in the playoffs. You never know, D. Great man. Cause look, look at it this way, D. Great, and you welcome to call in if you want to. Uh, any other uh, the year that the White Sox won the World Series, nobody saw that coming. Nobody saw the Cleveland Indians coming from out of nowhere. Everybody thought the Yankees were gonna be down for three or four years. They people thought the Yankees were just gonna be getting good now. If you'd have told somebody two years ago that the uh, that the uh, uh, that the Red Sox would be trash, they'd have told you, no, they won't. They just won a World Series two years ago. Now they trash. I, I honestly D great. I think a lot of these teams are investing in that uh uh in that um they're investing in their farm systems and uh um they invest in their farm systems and they farm systems are coming alive. These the like uh um this not like when a team just get real hot with a bunch of hot players and they even put a team together. These players are coming from these teams. Farm systems, these are scouting and player development and it's coming alive. Everybody knew the White Sox was going to have a good year this year. I wouldn't have told you the White Sox is going to be, as a White Sox fan, you always say to me, you always say they're going to win the World Series. But I wouldn't have thought they were just going to make the playoffs. I thought they were just going to win like 80, 85, 87 games. But I don't know, D. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, but they definitely, man. It's, it's, uh, the Cubs, when they won, they was a year ahead. Right. The schedule, a year or two ahead of the schedule. So, it's actually, it, 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 it all depends on all, if all that shit come together. Right. I don't think it was just, a, I don't think just a one-year wonder thing. They have a good lineup. The Sox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I was talking crazy. Me and Chief Rock was talking at the beginning of the season before we knew the boo-boo flu was going down. I just knew the White Sox would have a solid season. I had no idea that they would be at the top of the food chain in regards to contending for the division and making the playoffs and all that. I just thought, man, we're going to have a good year. I have been looking at their scouting and everything. You know. Uh, anyway, uh, d Gray, Everybody ain't got the Dodgers to root for, all right? Don't be trying to flaunt your team's talent in my face, homie. <laughs> you know what? You a Cowboy fan. How about that? Talk, let's talk about the Cowboy. Yeah, yeah. He got quiet. He ain't text nothing since we said Cowboys. Uh-huh. Be quiet, man, brother. I don't appreciate d Gray trying to flaunt his Los Angeles Dodgers, him and Matt Johnson. Chavez Ravine and all that in our face, man. I don't really, I really don't appreciate that, D. Gray. You know what, man? Just for doing that, you are definitely wrong, 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 wrong,
You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Hey man, I'm gonna dip into some controversy, big dog. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley, man. They made some old out of the way comments last last week about the sister Breonna Taylor's death. And um, what are your thoughts on those comments, man? I mean, it, 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 was, it was all around. It was the one only two clowns. Stephen A. Making the same type of. You had other type of people on, on the the political ghetto pundits on Twitter and YouTube. Right. I I just want to know once they come out that they covered a lot of this shit up. If if they gonna apologize. Right. It, it really bothers me because we always try. You know this this is what bothers me. This 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 is my this this might be my greatest problem. With our community, this is the largest problem uh, 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 I have in our community. That we always make exceptions for everybody else. We'll we'll listen to Big Illinois, and Big Illinois say something stupid. We cancel in Big Illinois. Hey, like if I'd have said the thing that the old boy who got fired for uh, Cincinnati Reds me and gang, if I'd have said that, it's the people that would have been turned off never listen to our show again. And they'd be like, man, you both saying that, this, that, and the third. They'd get rid of us. But when somebody is shot dead in our community, they got to be the perfect victim. Well, you know he paid child support. You know he did this, and you know he did that. We're not asking y'all. All I want to know is this. Charles Barkley, Stephen A. Smith, as you call them, the ghetto pundits on online, whether it be social media or YouTube or wherever you at, all I want to know is this. Brianna Taylor, uh, uh, let's just go with them. Brianna Taylor, Philando Castile, Freddie Gray, uh, uh, and uh, 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 what's his name? Big, what's, big, big, big Floyd, George Floyd. If they were everything people like Candace Owen and Stephen A and Charles Barkley, if they shot first. The boyfriend shot. Why is Breonna Taylor dead? Exactly. George Floyd passed the fake 20. Do you get the death penalty for that? I don't give a damn if he had a brick of rock cocaine in his pocket. If he had a kilo and a book bag with a MAC-10 in his book bag, do you get the death penalty for having drugs in your possession? No, you do not. Remember the, the youngster from um, St. Louis those some switches. Right, and then they talking about he lunged at the cop with his gun out. Come on, man. It's like we always want to try to make these like, well, she was an EMT, and there was this, and there was that. And you ain't got to be a good person not to die in the street like a, like a uh, you know what, like a rat. Because they, Mike Vick went to jail for killing dogs, so obviously you can't kill dogs. But it's just what are, what? And, and another question that I have for them is Charles Barkley got a daughter. Right. So if my, if my daughter um get with a white dude that sell cocaine, uh is it okay if the police come to her apartment and shoot her? That's because she deal with a person who sells cocaine. And here's the crazy part. That was her ex boyfriend. The cocaine dealer was our ex-boyfriend. So yeah. it just it just it just disturbs me, man. Um and again, if you want to participate in the conversation, man, the number you can reach us at is 605-313-4379. Again, the number 605-313-4379. And the access code is 920547. Next thing. I think that them, them jokers is just insensitive. You say what? Them jokers is just insensitive, man. Yeah. It's yeah. Same shit for the shock value. Yeah. Somebody needs to shock value their ass, straighten their mouth for the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't even think they doing it for the shock value no more. I think they doing it for the approval of the white population to make it seem like, see, I'm not biased. They Steven on Django. 
I'm not biased. I'm just a righteous person trying to look at the entire story. Now, the entire story is this. When you break the law, allegedly, when you break the law in the United States of America, you are supposed to be arrested. You're supposed to be uh, booked, processed, arraigned, go to trial, convicted, and then you receive, the, according to the, to, to the laws, the just punishment. When you break the law in America, you are not supposed to be shot in the back. Or shot period and shot to death that's the bottom line and when when people like Smith and Whitlock and, and Owen and, and these people and, and O'Neill and Barkley and others step out there trying to understand a murderous point of view not a problem what I need y'all to do is have that same energy the next time one of these crazy dudes Jump up in the theater just like the Joker watching the Spider-Man movie. Shoot up the uh, joint. Start having empathy. You don't. When they go into a nightclub, where the empathy for him? You don't have that. When you go, when one of these, one of these uh, 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 buffoons shoot up a school, you don't have empathy. Somebody blow up a building, you don't have empathy. I ain't never heard them get the other side of the Unabomber, the other side of the dudes who blew up the towers. Well, they, you never know. They could have been dropping bombs. The military could have been doing some wicked stuff over there. You never hear that side of them. And I'm not saying that we should empathize with mass murderers. But how are you empathizing with people who are clearly wrong? You know, so it's that, like, um, I think it was, um, was that you or a new uh how can you reform a racist? That was me. You can't you can't rehab a racist. I'm sorry. To, cause you know why you can't rehab a racist? Because a racist is a stupid ass decision that people make. You ain't uh, I you don't uh, I I've never been around a lot of Asian people. So I don't have no preconceived notions about them. I I only thing only preconceived notion I have around about Asian people most of them are very quiet because I don't see them doing a whole lot of talk. But I've never been around them. I can't create a reality for them. I'm not doing that. And in order for you to not be around black people and say, they all are this, they all are that, they all are this, they all are that, then you, you a stupid ass person and ain't no rehab. You can't fix dumb, man. You can't fix dumb. Because it's gonna re, it's gonna you when you have told yourself, I'm not gonna like Big Illinois because he a brown skinned brother and he keep his hair short. If you grow your hair out, when, all I'm gonna say is, well, fuck, he grows hair. Out. I'm gonna create another reason not to like it, another stupid ass reason not to like you. So I'm not gonna do that. Nope, you can't rehab that. You can't fix that. See, you have to be around people. Uh, uh, I ain't got to be around no damn fools. I ain't got to be around no damn fools. Because I know I ain't got time to be hating on no motherfucker. And if you got time to hate on me, that's cool. But I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be your homie. I don't, I don't I want your empathy. I want you to understand. You break left, I'm going to break right. That's it. That's all. I'm done. With that being said, uh, we're going to get into basketball right now. And the biggest story in basketball is big ups to the Los Angeles Lakers and big ups to the Miami Heat for making the NBA Finals. Hard work. Congratulations. Good thing y'all made. Congratulations. But an even bigger story than that to me is one, me and you are, we didn't even talk about this, but I know we on different sides of the fence with regards to this. Before we talk about the actual firing of Doc Rivers, why do coaches get fired? I would love for, you know what, man, the guys in the chat room, guys and ladies in the chat room, I would really love for y'all to participate in this part of the conversation. The number is 605-313-4379, 605-313-4379. The access code is 920-547. Why should a coach be fired in professional sports is my question. The floor is yours, Big Illinois, or for anybody who call. I would really love for the people to participate in this specific question. 